Hey guys, Wooly here, and um, welcome back. Um, this is actually my second attempt to record this episode, uh, thanks to Fraps and its lovely way of forgetting which microphone to record to um, if you happen to unplug it or uh, plug it in uh, while Fraps is already running. So, um, yep. Yeah second run through. Let's hope it works this time. Okay, so quickly um, 1.3.2 came out. Update on this. Uh, it's still kind of broken. Um, oddly, if I'm not recording and I face this way, it now works. If I face any other direction, it doesn't work. No idea why. Um, uh, but yeah, so kind of still broken, still needs fixing. I think I'm going to have to do that now the first patch post 1.3.1 patch is out. Um, I'll have to do that. Um, and uh, it's a bit of a bit of a funny episode today um, for reasons I'll explain later. But first what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a duck into the test world. I'm going to show some of the stuff I've been working on instead of recording episodes. Um, and yeah, let's get over there. Okay, so um, for some reason we're in this little house I built for giggles. Um, right, yeah, so um, I've been struggling rec to record because I've been sharing um, my the office where I record with my wife because her work is going mental at the moment and I struggle to record when other people are in with me. Um, but also what I've been doing is working on um, revised zipper wiring and here is some of that um, now this does work oh, normally works but it's still very frame rate dependent let's try this one over here try this there we go. So hardly very satisfactory. Um, eh, that one has been working. I can only assume it's because I'm recording that it's now not. Um, but yeah, I'm not very happy about something that only records if you have decent frame frame rate. Um, over th thing I've been working on is uh, this type of elevator um, and this is mainly because um, Stony um, from Stony Plays asked me to look and see if we can fix it now um, basically this is a similar sort of design to what he has in his world um, and I kind of got it working a little bit, but I actually did have it more reliable at one point, but it was still wasn't a hundred percent. And in the course of trying to fix, make it more reliable, I've apparently broken it at the moment. Um, but part of the problem here is and I think it's the same with the zipper lifts. So there seems to be some issue with uh, the position detection of the, on the player when it gets it, when the player is uh, pushed by a piston, and that's why you get stuck in those. And in this one, I think. Um, I mean, I've tried slowing this all the way down, and part of the issue is sometimes you simply don't. Um, when the pistons push you up or when the stairs push you from the side you just you, you simply don't move basically um, so in this one you end up kind of 
you can when I had it working more reliably I will still get to the top and find that I was sunk in this top piston um, I have come up with uh, this design which um, seems to be a lot more reliable um, now in this design the pistons come out from the side so if we demonstrate that so it's kind of like a hybrid of a zipper lift and that kind of browser steel cube hamster style lift um, it does have the advantage that you can stand anywhere in here and because you're going to get pushed from side to side it doesn't doesn't matter I can stand over here Um, or I can stand over here. Oh! Now that is the first time it's failed. Hmm, very strange. I've been messing around with the timing, so that might be my fault. But, um, yeah, it's not very compact. Um, here's our upwards timing circuit. Here's the currently non-functional downwards timing circuit and these are the piston timers back here um, but yes working on that I think that's got some potential as a design um, other thing I've done is been working on a replacement for the dome um, and basically uh, yeah I built this in creative simply because I knew what I was going to do and I just didn't simply uh, I didn't want to build it several times in survival just to look at the different materials so I built this and then I MC edited it to duplicate it twice and um, I'm just kind of deciding what sorry blow into the mic there I'm just deciding really um, what material to use so um, this is the stone slabs now basically what I've done here is um, this these may look like full blocks but they are in fact half slabs on top so um, the entire dome is non spawnable for mobs uh, if I knock a block or two away you'll be able to see what we've done here so we have that is the double block so that's a whole block there and then a slab on top like that so um, that works really well for keeping it non spawnable if we look down inside keeps the shape nicely inside So I built that and then I went and used MC Edit to duplicate it, clone it and replace it with stone bricks. Um, not so sure on that but really I mean the only options I've got if I'm going to finish it in half slab are either wood or brick or stone bricks or smooth stone slabs, maybe sandstone. Um, these two seem like the most likely candidates. Um, I would love to do it out of smooth stone but well effectively that's what this is and that's what uh, half slabs of smooth stone look like so hmm. the other option um, now this is built out of the same as this but this could be built out of smooth stone blocks um, because it's covered in water and therefore it stays non spawnable um, so that's another option um, not not a fantastic option uh, I don't know I just don't think I think it looks really nice I just don't think it fits in with um, with my world basically um, I don't know tell, tell me what you guys think about these two these three options at the moment I'm leaning towards that one anyway um, so that's where while I've been unable to record I've been able to play and um, and that's where my efforts been going
Okay. Um, the other thing I've done uh, is as soon as it renders I've added these little McGubbins to the um, sides of the portal tower. Now these are not really an aesthetic choice. Um, I will try and make them look more aesthetical. And they, at the moment they look like little dragon wings. I'm not so sure about that. Um, but these are here for a purely practical reason. And th that reason is I've built this blighter too tall to end a pearl upon. So using these I can now get up here with a couple of ender pearls which is very useful um, I've done a bit of work in here I finished the glass wall and uh, I put this pattern in for the ceiling and I really like this. I think it works really well. I'm not a big fan of either of these textures, to be honest. Um, but this actually works out very well. Uh, I think I might need to edge... Uh, still some endstone. That needs replacing for netherrack. Um, uh, I might need to edge this in with, I don't know, maybe stone brick or something, actually. Just to separate the netherrack here from the netherrack out there. Um, but uh, I was quite surprised at how well that worked um, so yeah tell me what you think of that um, I like it uh, I also did some digging around to find to locate where the portal to the stronghold needs to go um, and in doing so if we go down here um, I came across this tunnel here which is actually one that I dug while building the nether rail to the blaze farm um, and actually <laughs> I've put the portal here but the ideal place for it is about three blocks in that direction directly pretty much directly on the track of the nether rail which is just on the other side of this wall so yeah uh, I need to figure out maybe I'll run another track down here not too sure yet Um, yeah, and so we'll now see what I've been doing in the end. And most of what I've done here uh, was actually recorded in the episode that I just did. Um, there is actually a snowman there. I've been harvesting lots of snow. And there's also a storage minecart on this track. And uh, it's an interesting little bug at the moment. If we do this, if we go up here move away a little bit and then come back normally there we go they magically reappear so yeah that's quite funny um, but I've basically been spending a lot of time doing this I say a lot of time actually, I did most of it in half an hour this morning and uh, got a lot of snow blocks so that is one really good thing about this latest patch um, not the latest one but the 1.3 patch is that um, is the whole thing with the SMP like making um, bringing in certain elements from uh, the, the patch bringing in certain elements from SMP that make the whole make certain menial tasks a lot better, a lot more fun um, so yeah that was uh, that was good oh, this is where I died to an enderman while rec at the end of the last recording yeah so um, pretty much at the moment I am building this uh, long, long, long path out to where the Enderman farm is going to be. And uh, yes, I have a design for the Enderman farm, which I'm not going to show you yet. 
it is my design um, as much as a design can be yours um, did you they really just throw themselves off don't they that's amazing um, um, yeah so I mean the thing is you're pretty much going to be using piston pushers um, in an Enderman farm um, unless you want to go all ghetto and use trapdoors uh, but if you want really high rates you're going to want piston pushers um, and that kind of means you you really are you anything you do to a certain extent is going to be oh you know that's ethos or that's pandas design um, and you know you could say I mean I don't really know I don't think pandas design was done before ethos you could say that pandas design is ethos everything's ethos design so yeah I mean I've, I've been original as much as you can um, in this business um, it is a that my design is so when I say this is my design I'm talking about the placement of the um, the placement of the, the the arrangement of the piston pushers basically um, so um, how much space do we want here let's see let's do 32 by 32 give us plenty of room uh, and we need to make it an odd number so yeah my design is my arrangement is an arrangement that is going to bring all the endermen down to uh, a one either a one by one or a one by two space basically um, or maybe a one by two space now <laughs> talking of trying to be original so yeah on host um, recently did a proof of concept video for just that sort of thing however I had already worked on my design before I had seen that video um, although I will say um, watching uh, I'd heard him speak about it in his LP and it rekindled I tried that tried to do a similar thing before and kind of um, uh, yeah kind of gave up on it basically but listening to him speak about the fact that he'd done it rekindled my desire to look back into that um, now my design is different to his um, the arrangement is different to his I think it's more efficient I've got to say sorry mate but I think I think mine is gonna it's gonna work better mainly because it handles the corners um, more elegantly rather than simply pulsing the um, um, pulsing the pushers in order to clear Enderman from the corners um, it the the way that the pushers are all arranged means you don't get that issue basically um, so yeah I'd be interested to see what everyone thinks of that when I uh, finally get it finished um, I'm quite excited to do it um, So yes, how have I how have I messed that up? Um, so I tell you what I will do. Oh no! What have I got on me? Silk touch. There we go. Um. So yeah, I'm quite quite excited to do that. I'm not sure how much of the build process is going to be 
shown on screen. Um, I have a feeling, perhaps I'll, I will do it as an episode, but it's going to be like, that's your episode for the week. Um, nothing else, maybe even a couple of weeks. Um, just kind of bringing you in and out of the build process um, as it progresses. Um, so, um, yeah, that is kind of where we're at. Um, I know this is uh, slightly dif different to what I normally do, but um, there is um, another reason addition, in addition to the ones I've already mentioned for that, and that is I am going away from tonight. It's Saturday at the moment, Saturday the 18th, and um, I am going to London tonight, um, or I'm going halfway there tonight, because um, tomorrow I'm sitting, uh, well, <laughs> sitting. I'm doing a martial arts exam, so um, I will be unable to record um, because I will be not here. So by the time this gets up, I will be... And by the time you probably watch this, if you watch on the first day, um, I will probably be nervously waiting to go out and show my stuff um, and hope that uh, family life has not um, has not gotten in the way of practice to such an extent that uh, I'm unable to pass um, and it is a difficult exam uh, this one uh, I wasn't that far out um, this is a difficult one this one um, it uh, if we measured black belts in um, in the art I do then it would be equivalent to a fourth degree black belt so it's you know what do I want to do that because really probably want glass so that I can look up yeah I think glass is the way to do this um, so yeah it's um, this one is a difficult one basically uh, I'm not really expecting to pass but I've always been of the mind that when when you become eligible when you've done your time you should do go out and give it a go basically so that's what I'm going to do and we'll just have to see how I do um, but I think next week um, you know hopefully I can get back to a more regular recording schedule um, not that I have a schedule but you know I do try and record certain nights I try and do stuff either recording or preparing for recording um, and uh, uh, you're going to cause me trouble mate uh, thank you um, so hopefully I can get back to that um, Uh, yes. Oh, and th there's a one more one more thing to talk about before I sign off, and that is, um, I've been invited onto the Get in the Cart Pig server. Now, as you all know, I play on the um, uh, the Thingamajig Diamonds in the Rough server. Um, and the very first thing I want to say is that is not going to change. I'm going to continue to play on the Diamonds in the Rough server. Uh, I'm going to continue to run an LP on the Diamonds in the Rough server. Um, <coughs> so, yeah, that's the first thing. Um, I like that server, um, so I'm not going to jump ship there. Um, however, getting the cart pig is where 
Slipgator and Stony play. Uh, I know uh, Slipgator doesn't record there, but Stony does. Um, uh, but they both play on that server, and I am big, big fans of those guys. Um, so yeah, I could hardly resist, could I? Really? Um, I don't know if I if I will do any recording on that server. Um, and if I do do recording on that server, I don't know what form that will take. Um, it may well be that it's just uh, what I do is server tours because those guys are builders, basically. That's what they do. Um, make good looking stuff. Um, so yeah, that might be the form that takes. Um, I will be playing on the server so any server tour I do will obviously include stuff that I've done myself but um, yeah we'll have to see how it goes you know maybe I can run it as a third LP um, maybe not I don't know um, so but also if any of you guys are watching that's the reason I've not been on yet um, I know you guys use mumble a lot and uh, Sorry, that's not, that's the reason. What's the reason? <laughs> the same reason why I've not been doing recording this week is the reason I've not been on the server. I know you guys use Mumble a lot. Uh, and, yeah, I, with me not having the office to myself, um, it really, basically, I didn't want to just go on the server and, you know, not actually be able to join in with the... Um, the group chat uh, thing so you know don't want to be antisocial so yeah I've kind of avoided going on so so far because because I've not had the office to myself but uh, as I say hopefully that will change um, as um, let's get this bit while no one's on it um, hopefully that will change next week and as things get back to normal um, you guys will see me on there um, but uh, yes um, I think I'm pretty much out of time for the moment um, on this episode so I will sign out here and um, yeah I guess I better go pack my bag for my trip so yeah I'll see you guys next time